the first safety tip is how to uh, avoid miscommunication between the surgeon and the person mixing the bag of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. Clear written orders for tumescent lidocaine anesthesia are absolutely necessary. The pharmacology of tumescent lidocaine is very safe and our worldwide experience using tumescent lidocaine anesthesia for liposuction uh, has shown that there, the risk of toxic lidocaine reactions is extremely small and everyone that I've ever heard of is, is related to a problem of human mis, uh, misformulating or mis, uh, mistakenly infiltrating a wrong concentration, etc. So we, the safety tips are here to avoid problems and hopefully you'll learn from the problems of others and we won't have to learn the hard way with our own experience. Tumescent lidocaine anesthesia is not available in a commercial form. The clinician has to prepare this on the site. Uh, the consists of li tumescent lidocaine anesthesia consists of <clears throat> lidocaine uh, such as this, uh, about 100 ml of 1% lidocaine equals 1 gram of lidocaine. There's epinephrine in this already, so there's one mil 100 milliliters of this will give you uh, one gram of lidocaine and one milligram of epinephrine. Put that in a liter bag of saline and we'll add some uh, bicarbonate, about 10 mil equivalents of bicarbonate. So in all, we've mixed uh, so some drugs in a bag of saline and that will be the, the upper limit of the concentration used for tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. You can reduce that concentration by putting less lidocaine in there. Um, or you, in certain cases, you might want to increase the dosage, but all of our research is based on the maximum concentration of a gram of lidocaine per liter. But it's uh, very important that it's very clear, written, legible orders describing exactly the concentration, the volume that needs to be put into each bag of saline. It's, it's not sufficient and it's probably dangerous to say, I want 100 ml of lidocaine in this bag because it has happened a number of times where the, the nurse or whoever is preparing the concentration of the, the domestic lidocaine anesthesia pulls off a 2% bottle of lidocaine rather than a 1% bottle of lidocaine. So we want to have this written down very clearly in terms of milligrams of lidocaine. So if, as an example, one gram of lidocaine one milligram of epinephrine in a, and 10 mil equivalents of, of sodium bicarbonate in one liter of saline. This should be written out very explicitly and signed. Uh, that's absolutely uh, unambiguously uh, a, a requirement for safe tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. The, 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 the writing has to be very legible. Just take your time, write it out so everybody can understand it. Um, Again, you should, everything should be written in terms of milligrams of lidocaine, milligrams of epinephrine, and milliequivalents of sodium bicarbonate. It's not sufficient and it's dangerous to write volumes. You don't want to put 100 ml of lidocaine. That's a source for confusion. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Thank you for watching this informational video.